cooking in the kitchen, you guys. I'm so excited, but I'm even more excited because I have two little sous chefs that are gonna help me. Welcome to our channel today. Oh, we got the whole family. <laughs> he is so happy right now, you guys. Oh my gosh, I think we're all a little bit too happy right now. We have the beautiful sunshine right now out here in Utah today, and we are just soaking it all in. Because it is going to be raining and snowing next week. That's what at least shows, but it could change at a moment's notice because it always does here in Utah. A few days ago, we had snow in the morning, then rain, and then it was like this. Like, yeah. it was like you didn't even need a coat at night. It's yeah, just, seriously. But that's spring weather for you, right? But we're not gonna <laughs> complain because it is a beautiful day right now. We just finished up a little church at home, which was kind of fun. Yeah, it's different because usually we go to church in a chapel, but because of what's going on right now, we're doing it from home today, so. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. it's pretty incredible though that we're able to do that. Jared and I we decided to get in church clothes to make it feel just a little more special and obviously our church service is really important to us so feeling good we're dressed for the day we're not in pajamas <laughs> at noon like it's been the past few days yeah. <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you guys have been living <laughs> the good life in your pajamas and sweatpants for the last week oh, or so. <laughs> seriously yeah that is so nice <laughs> you know we have to find those small things to smile about right now <laughs> if you're having a really hard time right now with kind of all the craziness going on one thing I have found that really has helped me is just Try and find one thing that you're grateful for and to focus on for the day and just kind of tune everything else out. I feel like it's really easy to get overwhelmed by like all the news, all the stories you hear, but if you try and focus on just the good, it really helps. So there's my little tidbit for the day. <laughs> Brittany's inspirational thought for the day. Hey you guys, comment down below. Would you like an inspirational thought each day? Maybe we should do that. They could be funny. Maybe we could all share our inspirational thoughts. I love hearing quotes and things like that. If you're following us over on Instagram, you'll see that quite often I do actually put in that is true, yeah. quotes into our pictures and our messages. I just feel like it's good. It's uplifting. Can you guys look at Finn's smile on his face right now? <laughs> if that doesn't say happy, I don't know what it does. I think we're gonna go change our clothes and then we're gonna just enjoy outside. We might go on a nice hike together, just get out of the house and then stick around because I have a delicious recipe that I think a lot of you guys will really like. Hi right, guys, we are back at that park with all the fun trails. But this time, Jared has us hiking up the dang mountain. <laughs> yeah, guys, this thing is steep. It just, is. just to get a quick idea. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty much an incline about like this. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty steep. No, but it's beautiful out here. It's gonna be worth it. We took the hardest trail. <laughs> You know what? Take the road less traveled. Little Finn is just loving it out here, you guys. He just is rolling around in all the dirt yet again. Such a it is cutie. so cute how much he loves it. So guys, if we make it to the top, we'll see you there. I know a lot of people are not even able to leave their homes because they're on like a mandated lockdown right now and our hearts go out to you guys luckily we live near these hiking trails and we're able to get here really easily not be around a lot of people let us know what are you guys doing to stay busy we were thinking maybe doing a vlog about that coming up here sharing kind of what we're doing day to day to stay busy and not go bored out of our minds <laughs> or drive each other absolutely crazy <laughs> We are 
calling it. We're getting hungry. So we're gonna head back and Brittany is gonna make us some chicken salad sandwiches. So we're gonna head back before we get hangry. Right now we're just hungry. <laughs> so we're gonna try and make it back before we reach hangry. But yes guys, it's gonna be delicious. I can't wait for you guys to try it. All right, you guys, we are back home and we're about to get our cooking on. Cooking in the kitchen, you guys. I'm so excited, but I'm even more excited because I have two little sous chefs that are gonna help me. For anyone that's new to our channel, this is our nephew Tyler and our niece Bella. Oh yeah. What are we gonna be making today? Um, chicken, some, chicken something salad. <laughs> chicken something salad, that's what it's called because it's kind of true. There's a little bit of something for everyone in this which I love. You guys have had this before, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. It's really good. So it's kid approved, you guys. And it's so, so simple. That's my favorite thing. Most of these ingredients you can find in your pantry, which right now with everything going on, that's obviously super helpful. So I was trying to think of a recipe that we could utilize all those things that are in our pantry. And this came to my mind. So should we get cooking? Yeah. yeah. Okay, first step though, wash our hands. <laughs> guys is the chicken now you can totally use fresh chicken for this I had this canned chicken my favorite is the Kirkland brand from Costco I feel like it shreds so easy it's delicious so we will be using this but feel free to cook up chicken breasts and then just season with salt and pepper this is three cups of chicken shredded chicken can you add that to there and then Miss Bella. <laughs> I know there are so many different ways you can do chicken salad. This is how I've always done it. My mom did it this way, but you can totally switch out any of these ingredients if you don't like them. In today's recipe, we are gonna be using some red seedless grapes, red onion, an apple, use your favorite kind of apple, celery. Now this one, I know this isn't in every chicken salad recipe, but yeah, what are these, you guys? Pickles. pickles. You guys like pickles? <laughs> <laughs> I like using pickles because it gives it a little tank. And then we'll be using yellow mustard. I know a lot of recipes use Dijon, but we're gonna be using yellow. Just a good old bottle of your yellow mustard and then some mayo. And I'm gonna be using light mayo. Feel free to use whatever type you want. So that's gonna be it. Okay, so Miss Stella, will you start plucking off the grapes? So we're gonna do one cup of grapes. So they're gonna pull off these grapes. While they're doing that, I'm gonna chop up four celery stalks. One apple and half of a red onion. <laughs> Contraptions. Do you guys know what this does? It dices it. It dices it, yeah. So Bella was just saying she doesn't want to cry with the onion. <laughs> <laughs> so guess what? This is a really quick way to chop onion so that way you don't have to cry. So Bella, you're going to take this and you're going to press it down pretty hard. Okay. Okay, ready? And then put both hands here. Okay, and, and go. Oh, hard. Get mad. Ty? Yeah. Should we have Ty finish it off? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ty, you try. Yeah! <laughs> nice! Okay! Okay, I'm gonna chop up these grapes. I'm gonna just half them and then Ty, do you think you can open the jar of pickles for me? I'm trying. With your strong muscles. Oh yeah, let's see it. Yeah! Oh! For pickles, you guys, we need half a cup of pickles. One cup of mayonnaise. Mm. You want to use the spoon and put fill up this cup. Mm -hmm. And with chicken salad, you guys use as much mayo and sauce as you'd like. I know a lot of people like that more on the wet side. Some like it more on the dry side. So I'm kind of in between. I like everything coated. Totally up to you with your preference. We're gonna do about two tablespoons of mustard. <laughs> Salt and pepper. So, Belle, you want to do some salt and Ty, you can do pepper. This one, you just twist it to grind it. So, Tyler just asked if they could have a bite of it, and the answer is no, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, thanks for making it though. <laughs> thanks for cooking with us. Come again. <laughs> I know sometimes. 
sometimes I even add a little bit of pickle juice, that's a little secret, just to make it a little more tangy. So you can definitely put this on sandwiches. Croissants are like my favorite way to have it. We don't have any croissants, but you can also put it on chips. These are multi-grain chips that are really yummy with it, as well as just good old pantry saltines. So yummy. Should we give it a taste test? Yeah. I thought you said it was no. <laughs> Oh, well, Bella can, don't you? You guys, aren't these two the cutest? We're so lucky. <laughs> All right, guys. Official taste test. How do you like so it? Good. What do you think? Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a big bite, Ty. Holy cow. I think I'm going to have to officially poison test this. No. Nope. Cameraman <laughs> doesn't get any, huh? Yeah. Only us that put in the elbow grease get it, huh? Comment down below what your favorite chicken salad recipe is. I would love to hear them. I know there's so many different variations. And if you try mine, make sure to tag us over on Instagram and let me know what you think. All right, you guys, we are gonna wrap up today's vlog. You guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. I really can't wait for you to try that chicken salad recipe. It's so good. It's just a good, easy, staple recipe. So let me know how you enjoy that. Yeah, guys, it was way good. Even though they wouldn't give me a bite earlier, I snuck one in after. <laughs> that time of night, it's time for our fan phase. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yes, I just did that <laughs> dance move. <laughs> like on Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> All right, let's start over with YouTube today. So this is our last video announcing our test results. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It was a really exciting day for us. Our first fan fave is Miss Emma Berry. She said, today's my dear mom's 95th birthday. I'm a caregiver to her. Some family came and stood out of our front of her house in the yard to sing to her happy birthday, holding up birthday wishes. Last night, my little sister and her daughter decorated her kitchen window with balloons and decorations on the outside of her TV room in her old dining room since she can't do stairs to the family room. I appreciate your love of family to protect them and yourselves in these trying times. May God bless you both and your families today and forever. Love you guys. How sweet is that? <laughs> and I love that your family did that, Emma, for your cute mom, even though they couldn't be in contact with her to still make her birthday special is so awesome. So thank you for sharing that with yeah, us. Yeah, seriously, thank you. Our next fan fave is Miss DD4. I like that screen name, DD4. She said, I love watching you both. You're always smiling and upbeat with such good energy. Congrats on the test results. You are going to be such adorable parents. Jared, you crack me up. Well, at least he cracks you up, Dee Dee. You do give sweet bread a hard time, but I know it's all in fun and makes me chuckle. Love you guys. We love that. That's one of the special things about our relationship that we absolutely love. What, that we can make fun of each other? Yeah. Life would be so boring if we could. It's true, yeah. Life isn't boring enough. Yeah, I, oh my gosh. Okay. She didn't catch that. I was a little slow on that one. <laughs> Heading over to Instagram, our fan fame there is Miss Janice Wiggle from South Africa. She said, so absolutely delighted for you both. What excellent news. You bring such positivity into everyone's lives. Thank you and love from South Africa. So awesome, Janice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I love our YouTube family, how they're just from all over the world. You guys, that being said, we hope wherever you are in the world that you're staying safe, Staying positive. We're gonna get through all of this. I know it's crazy, crazy times, but we absolutely love you guys. We pray for you. We hope that you guys can feel that from us. So guys, that's gonna do it for Jared and Britt tonight. Make sure you tune in next time. We have a really special vlog coming up that we're excited to share with you guys that will hopefully be really uplifting to everyone out there. So if you guys are not subscribed, definitely subscribe now. Turn on those notification bells so you don't miss out on it. <laughs> what was that? Tell us more, Johnny boy. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on. Put it on. All right, you guys. That's going to do it for us tonight. We love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>